I'm so happy to see how much you all loved my animation concept. Your excitement and all the amazing comments truly motivate me. So in this tutorial, we'll create a smooth and dynamic flipping animation and you'll learn how to manipulate shapes, adjust curvature and refine lighting for a polished and professional look. Plus, this technique can also be used to animate a book. So without further ado, let's dive into After Effects. Alright, let's create a new composition by clicking this box. The rest of the settings you can see on the screen. Next, I will create a new solid layer. This is going to be our background and I used light pink color for this. After that, I added another solid layer and named it Layer 1. Then I selected the Rectangle tool and created a rectangle mask over this solid. Then I switched to the Pen tool and created some more vertex points like this. Then I deleted those two vertex points. Next, hold Alt and click this point to get these handles. Now, I adjusted it and made it like this curved shape. After that, I selected the whole mask and aligned it to the center of this composition. Let me solo this layer so you can see better. Before moving forward, please check your composition 3D settings. Go to Composition Settings and under 3D Renderer, make sure you select the Advanced 3D option. After that, select the layer and press Y to select the Pan Behind tool, then change the anchor point position like this. Then make this layer a 3D layer. Let me change the 3D view so you can understand better. This is our shape in 3D space. If I go down to the properties of this layer, then under the geometry options, you'll find two values, curvature and segment. First, I change the segment value to 10. And when I increase the curvature value, you can see our shape is bending. You can bend this shape in both directions like this. Let's go back to our active camera view. Then I select the 2 view option so we can see our main view as well as this 3D view. Next, open the rotation properties of this shape and rotate it like this. Let me quickly adjust the shape position. Also, I scale down a bit. Next, once again, open the rotation properties and change the X rotation to 180 degrees and add a keyframe. Then move the time indicator to 2 seconds and change the rotation value to 0. So we get this nice flip movement. Now go back to the first frame and open the geometry options. Simply set the curvature value to 0 and add a keyframe. Then go to 1 second and change the curvature value to 60. And at 2 seconds, change the curvature value to 0. Then I selected the middle keyframe and easy eased them. After that, select both rotation keyframes and easy ease them as well. If you wish, you can adjust the speed graph like this for smoother animation. After that, I switched back to one view. Then I duplicated layer one and dragged it forward a bit. Then I searched for an effect called fill, applied it to this layer and changed its color to something purple. Next, duplicate this layer multiple times and arrange it like this. Make sure you delete the fill effect from the last layer. If you see this weird error, simply open the position properties of this layer and change the Z value to around negative 10. Let's check the animation. The animation looks good. Now it's time to add a shadow. First, select the background layer and make it a 3D layer. Then, add a new light. This is going to be an environment light with intensity around 100 and shadow darkness at 50. 
Make sure the Cast Shadows checkbox is turned on after clicking OK. The shadow appears in our composition, enhancing the look of the scene. If you want, you can rotate this light direction by going under the Transform properties. Here, you can change the shadow direction. And once you are satisfied with the look, check the final preview. Let's see how to make a flipping book animation. Let's create a new composition with the same settings we used before. But this time, I import some images. I already prepared some images and assign numbers to them. So I selected 10 images for now and imported them into After Effects. After that, I add image 1 to this composition and also scale it down a bit like this. Then I change the anchor point position to the left of this image. Then I adjust its position like this. Now we can make it a 3D layer and then animate it as we did before using rotation properties. After that, I open the geometry options. First, I change the segment value to 10. Then, I animate the curvature as we did before using curvature properties. So our basic page turn animation is ready. But as you can see, the image is visible on both sides of the page and we want only one side to be visible. So what we need to do is close this layer and duplicate it. Then select the bottom layer, hold Alt and select Image 2 and place it on this layer. This action replaces Image 1 with Image 2 and the animation remains the same. Now we can't see Image 2 because the position of both layers is the same. To fix this, drag the time indicator around here. Then select the Image 2 layer and carefully move this image in the Z direction slightly so that we get a different front and back side. However, we need to adjust its position. So at this point, I add a keyframe on the position properties of this image. Then, at the first frame, I change the Z value of position to zero. And now it looks good. After that, simply select both layers and duplicate them and place them below all the layers. Also, I change the layer colors to recognize them better. Move them forward a bit and once again hold Alt and select Image 3, then place it on this layer to replace it. Do the same with another image. Now you can see we have two pages in this book. So you have to repeat this process to add more pages to this book. After adding more pages, you'll get this look. After that, let's add a new solid. And this is going to be our background layer. Place it below all the layers and make it 3D. Now add a new light. Make sure you use environment light with the same settings we used before. Now let's see the final preview. So that's how you can create a 3D flipping shape as well as a book in After Effects. If you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, consider buying me a coffee. Your support makes a big difference and helps me keep creating awesome content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.